What is going on guys? I just wanna make this quick video going over exactly what happened with, I went one for two today on trades. I just kinda of wanna recap exactly what happens and how I went from being up to losing and then being back up and being positive on the day, $500. Um, here is Facebook. Um, I wanna get straight to the point here. Um, this is resistance here that I have marked. Um, I had another one down in here for support. Um, I obviously got rid of that one already. Um, but here's the thing is I played this breakout right here um, and I got faked out technically and I was technically up So usually I will buy Anticipating and I'll show you exactly what I did with Roku because I used this strategy perfectly on my second trade um, But this one comes in um, I, I was late to the game. I bought in here where it's gonna test. It's not a guarantee to go up um, it does go up. I was I got greedy. I didn't take profits. It actually went because I wanted 195.50. Um, I wanted it to break that and kind of try to push up again. Um, it didn't, of course. I wanted it to go higher. I got greedy. I should have just taken profits here. It would have been smaller profits, but hey, I would have taken it. It would have been around 250, 300 dollars rather than taking a 250 dollar loss when this thing comes all. Look at this nasty red candle comes all the way back down and that is the candle that I actually stopped out on. And I didn't actually stop out because technically I don't have those forceful stops set. I do all mine mental. So when I see it dropping back down, it drops below the, well, I would want to become support. It did hold on for just a second and then it broke down through it. Um, that's when I knew I had to take a loss. I held onto it for a couple seconds longer and in a couple seconds, you can lose that much more money in the stock market. That is the way it works. So I'm down $250 on my first trade of the day. Um, you can see it would have been a great short here. Um, one top, two top, and just falls um, lower highs there. But my second play is Roku here today. Um, this was a great play by me. As you guys can see, we had a great day the past two days on Roku. Um, you guys know I trade Roku a pretty decent amount if you guys are one of my students. Um, so here's my resistance. Here is my support. And here is what happens. And I'm watching this one as the as the opening bell happens. Uh, I see it has support and I have these lines before market even opens. I see this candle. It goes red. So, and I see that it goes all the way through this. And this is a wick. I don't count this as a candle. This part is the candle. This is a wick. This goes straight through my support. And so my first thought was I got my puts ready. Um, I waited, I wanted it to honestly drop down into here and then push back up to the support or what would then become resistance and then fall back down and I would short around in here or basically buy puts and then cover down in here or you know sell my puts, whether you're shorting or buying puts. Um, that didn't happen of course I didn't take that trade at all because it curled back up and it just starts pushing so I did have a line right here because I wanted it to break this and then go up and test this I wasn't really worried about this right here I was more worried about this right here and as you can see it's a good thing I really was um, I want to kind of zoom in just a little bit more so here you see that there it pops through here so I'm buying literally at the break of this I'll put a line there for you guys. I'm buying in here, and basically what happens is I'm wanting it to test this. It goes up to there. I sell all my share, or all, not all my shares, all of my contracts because options are contracts. I sell all of my contracts, but seven contracts right here. Yes, guys, I know that's a good chunk of money that I invested, but it's my money, and I personally thought it was well worth it. So I sold them all but seven, and I let seven run. And I did not take profits up in here. I didn't take profits here. I was taking profits here in the 25s because I figured 75 to 25, that's an extra 50 cents. Um, I thought about honestly taking profits in here, and I was going to if it came back down through here. Instead, I locked them in when I saw this red little wick here. I was locking them in at the 25 when it started to go red up here. I figured I would lock in my profits, and it was a good thing I did, because if not, I would have been taking the rest of my profits here, which would have still made me money. It probably, I mean, I was break even at that point, so I mean, or a little bit over positive but we would have done well here anyways as you can see it does come back through here 
Um, this would have been a perfect opportunity to buy puts afterwards because you see one top or this is a high and this is a high and this is creating lower highs. Um, as you can see, this literally went to this resistance and then fell back down. I believe it'll go underneath here today um, in order to go basically, yeah, just to, it'll have a nice fall here today more than likely. So with that being said, I want to keep this video super short, guys. Thank you guys all for watching. If you guys got any questions, feel free to comment below and I will answer them. I respond to all comments personally.